were discussing about previous session, uh, there was a um, couple of places. I was uh, skipped two, three topics uh, because to make you to write a couple of programs. So let's cover that first. Initially, what we covered, what we skipped two, three topics we skipped actually, uh, that we will first cover, then we will enter into control statements. So actually, whether you remembered or not, uh, primitive data types we have discussed. Primitive data types we have discussed. Right. Uh, let's recall what we have, what you people remembered about this. So similar like it's a recalling session and connecting to the next topics and uh, whatever we missed uh, that small, small topics will cover. Uh, it will take one or two days to cover whatever we missed and to connect. Next we'll enter into control statements. So control statement is the next uh, new topic. Before that, we will cover the missing topics. Yeah, right. Okay, now, yeah, guys, uh, control statements, we'll see later. Come back to primitive data types. Whether you remembered or not about primitive, what we discussed, anybody can explain about primitive data types? Hmm. Hello? Right. Uh, if you don't have noise, mm. better to unmute and you can respond, right? Mm. Uh, sir, the they primitive data types are the data types defined by Microsoft. Mm. Mm. Yeah. In our How class. Many How many there are there? Are, uh, like we have five. Numerical, Numerical data Floating. types. Floating. Character. Floating point data types. Character data types. Yeah, here in numerical data type signed and unsigned. Remember, uh, yes, signed sir. tell me as byte. Signed, tell me, signed, come on, tell me what is that? As byte, yes. hmm. short, int, long, no, unsigned, float, by double. Unsigned, unsigned numerical type. By by short, you ain't too long. Too long. Remember, da? Yes, sir. Got it. Loading point data types are. Mm, come on. Mm. Float. Float double. Load, double. double. Decimal. 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 Next, coming to character related data types. Only one. What is that? Car. Coming to logical data types. Mm. Bool. What is that? Bool. And fifth category, general. Data types. Mm. Come on. Uh Object. object like object. Object. object object we have discussed all these these are all called what data types primitive primitive data types data type. primitive means what those Sorry, are primitive defined means what by, those are defined by microsoft those are defined by microsoft are called primitive so totally five categories. Am I right? Yes, sir. Right. Here, yeah, small discussion is uh, one important point you remember. In primitive data types, whether I told or not, I, rem I didn't remember about this point. How Microsoft has defined these primitive data types as a structure as a, or as a class? Uh, structure and the fifth one is class. Yes. In primitive data types, 1, 2, 3, 4 are defined as structures. And fifth category. Class. Category. That is string, string 
and object are defined as predefined classes. Class. Classes, predefined classes. Predefined what is that? Classes are defined as predefined classes. For example, you go here. Yes, byte is defined as Microsoft as a predefined structure. If you want to know, just to open, keep the cursor here and press F12. It will open predefined code. Defined by the Microsoft as a predefined structure within a base class library called? System. Hmm. System. And similarly, now come back to second, short. Shart is defined by the Microsoft as a predefined structure. Shart means what? Into? 16. Come on, into 16. Remember the base type, sir? Yes, sir. Long back now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next, into. Int is defined by the Microsoft as a predefined structure. Into? 32. Into? 32. Into like 32. all numerical, all numerical. Next, come back to float. Float means single. Remember the yes, structure. Sir. Structure. Float double decimal also structure. Car is also a structure. Car is also a structure. Right. Next uh, bull. Bull. Bull is also a structure. 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 Bull is also a structure. Right. String is what you know. Class. String is what class. String is what observed. Huh? Is it yes, visible sir. to you clearly? I'm pressing yes. F12 to open the predefined code. Predefined code I open. It is a class. Mm, class. And the object is class. Def and as a predefined class, all are defined by the Microsoft within a base class library called system. Within a base class library called system. 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 With this, we can say that, yeah, with this, we can say that in primitive data types, one, two, three, four are defined as structures, and fifth category string object defined as predefined class within a base class library called system. Within a base class library called system. Understood this point? Yeah. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, go, th go through this point, two minutes, all of you. Keep in your mind this point. Now I'm going to raise you one question. You have to write on paper on this point. System based class library namespace system namespace system yeah namespace system are you understanding what I'm telling you yeah. hello yes, I'm telling I'm giving a base class library called system skeleton with all these data types can you tell me struct hmm Yes. S byte. Very good. Open the brace. Close the brace. Uh, next. Continue. Struct. Struct. Uh, int. 
into 16. 16. 16. About it is what? Second is what? Uh, Short. 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 And third one? In 32. 32. Right. Stuck to. Mm. Mm. In, in 64. 64. 64. Right. Into 64. Next is. Hmm. Byte. Exacto. Byte. Hmm. Exacto. Hmm. U. U. Int. One sixteen. One sixteen. Exacto. U. Int. Thirty two. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay. Right. Next. Extract. Yeah. Come on. You int long. You int. You int sixty-four. You int sixty-four. Yeah. Up to here we covered data types. Int. Um, numerical. Numerical data type. It is represents as byte. This represents sixteen. Hmm. Which is it? Short. 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 It represents long. Integer. Integer. Thirty-two bits. It represents. Represents long. Long. It represents. Presents. Come on. Byte. It represents byte. It represents. And sign short. U short. Simple. U into. U long. U long. U long. You for. It seems you guys a little bit you forgot the subject. Not referring that book. Whatever I have shared to you. Hmm. Honestly, tell me, not referring, right? Simple. This type of subjects, uh, B should be regularly you should update. Otherwise, simply you will forget the subject. Okay. Now, we'll go with floating data types. Come and tell me. Struct. Mm. Struct. Mm. Float. Float. Single. Single. Base type is single, right? Yes. Right. Struct. Mm. Single. Double. 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 Single is float. Double. Yes. Struct. Decimal. 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 Uh, uh. Next character related. Struct. Struct. Character. Car. Car. Struct. Car. Uh. Struct. Struct. Boolean. 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 Ah, class. Next. Class. Very, very good. Very good. Class. class. String. Class. String. Class object. Class object. 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 All are different with the Microsoft. Did the primitive data types Microsoft has defined like this? Clear all of you. Hmm? Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Right. This way. See, when you are uh, about career and about subject, always you should have two things, uh, two bad habits you should have. Number one, selfishness. <laughs> you should have. <laughs> Regarding subject, you should have selfishness. Number two is you should be feel very competitive, jealousy. When somebody are answering, you should get jealousy and you should also get ready to give what answer. Selfishness, jealousy, this are really people will say bad habits, but these bad habits required regarding career. Then only you will you can run. I'm sure about that. Do you understand my point? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah. These two you should have. 
Hmm? And regarding career, you should not listen anybody's word much. Regarding career, you should have your own goal. You should run. Don't tell about your goal to somebody and uh, don't expect their uh, uh, support, encouragement. Uh, very few people can do that. Even the life partners also may not. I am sure about that. Okay? I am sure. Only blood relation people can support you. So what? Or just uh, not 100%, just I am telling. You fix your goal, you work hard. Don't depend on anybody's words. That is because if you will fix, if you will tell your aim or goal, if it is really a great aim, definitely people will comment on that. Okay? Definitely. Anything you can achieve, I am sure about that. Nothing is impossible in career. Anything. Depends upon your patience and hard work. If you have these two ability, two good, good uh, uh, elements, number one, patience, number two, time, good time and patience and hard working, I am sure you can achieve. Yeah, come back to our discussion. Yeah, let's understand about whether you remembered or not this one coming to main valve and max valve. In between of your course, I told so many batches, means so many means here Hyderabad class are going on some other online batches. But I remember what I didn't teach, what I taught. But I don't know how did you remember all these things, whether you remembered or not. But when I'm asking about data types, so, uh, only one or two people are responding, even the people are still getting shaking. Two sec two minutes. Yeah, come back to min value, max value. Uh, Manasa, tell me about min value and max value. Um, it tells us the range in which a uh, data type uh, can be used. Min value will give the very good, very good. Min value will give the starting range of the given data type. Max value will give the Indicate. maximum range of the given data type. Console dot right line byte dot min value. Console dot right line byte dot max value. Console dot right line byte dot max value. Byte dot min value byte dot max value. Right. Are you clear? Yes. Okay, now. Yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, do you remember? Min value, max value. Min value will give the starting range and max value give the highest the range of the given data. Byte min value, did you remember? It's... Uh, Byte min value, remember? Minus... Uh, minus one, one, 178. <laughs> Sorry, I may be wrong. Zero to two fifty five. Oh, sorry. White is unsigned. White yeah, is unsigned. Yes, yes. That is the that is uh, the gap gap. I'm sure I'm teaching dot net. Let's say I leave trainings for three months. Was in some leave or vacation, native place or something. Three four months gap. Then na. And when I want to start classes, again, I have to open the book. So that is subjects always you remember. Keep on regularly, you should touch. Then only you can remember. Otherwise, you will forget. Keep on doing. Keep on preparing book. Keep on practicals. Especially every time we can't read now. Reading is very difficult. Instead of that, uh, when you are doing practicals, you will get, come and get recall your subject. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. Min value, max value. Let's try to understand about these two. Remember, these two are predefined constants. These two are predefined constants. These two are means, guys, what is that? What are the two, two means? Min value and max value. Min value and max value. PK means I didn't remember your name. PK. Better to give the full name, na? R A R K. What are these shortcuts? Shivani attended previous batch, previous classes. Shivani. I was 
I was not there for the session, but I I listened to your videos from YouTube. Oh, that is enough. Uh, from YouTube, uh, no, no. I think uh, from Texinius, right? Yeah, they have uploaded it in YouTube. No, that's the reason. They uploaded into YouTube. Even though I don't know about that. Okay, great. Ah, mm. uh, so you have watched all videos, right, Madam Shivani? Yeah. Okay, you are okay. Comfort, right? What I am talking, you are bit of understanding. Yeah, I am comfortable. Yeah, I'm comfortable. Sudarshan, what about you? I think you are old student only, right? Sudarshan. Yeah, yeah I attended the previous course, sir. Very, very. Nanda, Nanda. Attended, ah, uh, Nanda, Nanda, Nandini. I don't know, Nanda. Yeah, attended previous classes. Okay, I hope everybody. So, your comfort. These two are predefined constants: min value and max value. If you want to know, you guys, you can say keep the cursor here and press F12. Yeah, showing mix max value, min value, or constants, predefined constants, predefined constants, min value and max value are predefined constants, predefined constants. Are you clear? Okay. Min value and max value are predefined constants. Okay, now yes, and these predefined constants, these two are predefined constants. Okay, are these predefined constants are part of every primitive member of every primitive? Data type, data type structure, right? Okay, you can have these two in every primitive data type structure because, as you can see, byte dot min value. Similarly, s byte, s byte dot min value, s byte dot max value, z, as well as into dot min value into dot max value. Are you clear, all of you guys? Constant means what? Constant means the value will be fixed. fixed. Why these two are? Can you tell me these two are the are available in string class? String string class. No, it's not available. You can have the string. No. Why? Because general data types will not have any predefined size. Data type. String and object are not having predefined. Structures, which will not have predefined sizes. Mm -hmm. Remember, uh, <clears throat> yes, sir. Long back, <laughs> again, I have to recall everything. String and object are not having any predefined sizes. Okay, <laughs> that's why we don't have min value and max value. That is the story about min value and max value. Tomorrow, somebody will ask you how to get the starting range of the given data type. You will tell that data type dot. Min value. How to get the max value means data type dot max value. Data type dot what is that max value? But what are these two? These two are predefined. These two are predefined. Structures. Predefined. Sorry. Predefined constants. Constants. Which, which represents the starting range and ending range of the given data type. Clear all of you? Hmm. Right. Next to come back to our discussion. Yeah, this is a story about min value and max value. The small small things I missed at that time. Okay, right. Because to give you more programs. Yeah. Next we will discuss about type of and size of type of and size of. Type of and size of, right? Type of and size of. Are you clear? Yes. What is this? These two are <clears throat> predefined special operators. These two are predefined special operators. These two are predefined special operators, which are guys 
type of endo size of type of will return are you listening yes sir yeah. type of will return you are taking international quality training nobody can teach this type of subject i am sure will go very micro level my training is very micro level very simple anybody can understand make utilize these classes and be active when the training is going on whatever works i will give you be regular and uh, up to date you if you will do i am sure you will get excellent out, up to output type of will return base type of given data type type of will return base type of given data type hello understood let me show you let me show you about type of console dot right line type of type of into remember what is the base type of into 0 to 255 no 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 my question is into data type cts type base type int 32 system dot system dot system dot into 32 remember da yes sir <laughs> Everything I have to recall. You didn't read that book also. Texinius team has shared you a good material, right? Got it? Yeah. System dot. Ah, uh, what is that? System dot. Into. Thirty-two. System dot into thirty-two. System dot into thirty-two. Okay, na right. So what is the Final point is what type of will return? Hmm. Base type of data given type. data type. Data type. Coming to what about size of? Both are operators. Size of will return. Ah, uh, size of the given data type. size of pilotan size of the given data type in bits size of pilotan size of the given data type in bits size of pilotan size of the given data type in bits it will return in where you know bits okay now you see right console dot right line size of console dot right line size of into size of into come on size of into it will return what what is output 8 bytes at 32 bits in bits 32 is the output 32 bits 32 is the output 32 bits oh, sorry. Oh, sorry not in bits i'm sorry in bytes i'm sorry bytes not bits bytes bytes means it will return what how many four bytes of integer into four into <clears throat> four, four 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 into means right four yes sir. i'll ask another question one minute one minute console dot right line u log uh, size of size of u long size of u long size of u long ah uh, come on size of u long come on mm. u long 8 byte 8 first one or second one 8 8 8 okay na 8 bytes but here one small problem with the bit to <laughs> console dot right line size of bool 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 what is output one what is one. output yeah one what here one will one one bool means only one bit is the size nah. yes sir so here one. you have to remember four and eight are bytes but only in case of bool it returns so bits why because there is no bytes for bool right yes sir ha huh? there is no 
byte for bool bool predefined size is only one bit remember this point clear yes sir all right you should like the subject you should love the subject then only you can learn don't learn dot net for the sake of job and money hmm? right that will come automatically first try to love the subject right next type of size of that is a story about type of and size of so we discussed first we discussed today min value uh say max value we discussed constants then we discussed type of and size of okay fine that is a story about all these things are you clear <clears throat> right next to uh what do you mean by what do you mean by explicit type variable what do you mean by explicit type variable what do you mean by explicit type variable type casting which is done by the programmer ah okay. uh, a variable type which is declared by programmer is called as explicit typed variable anyhow which we'll discuss tomorrow because tomorrow connectivity is there for it's half an hour discussion but up to that you remember a variable which is declared by program variable type which is declared by programmer is called explicit typed variable explicit typed variable here you have a doubt what is this means example int a equal to 10 a type is what a type is what integer integer who declared the type of a int as int programmer that's why now you hear a a variable type a variable is called a variable is called explicit typed variable a variable is called explicit typed variable a variable is called explicit typed variable are you clear sir yeah sir what about other category other category is called implicit typed variable anyhow remember tomorrow our discussion is from here we'll start you also go through it explicit typed variable versus implicit typed variable tomorrow we'll start our discussion from here okay after once it is completed we'll discuss about value types and reference types one more category of data type once it is completed in type casting <coughs> we didn't we discussed about only parsing remember da what we yeah. have to discuss about converting and yes. boxing and unboxing is pending that we'll cover once it is covered we'll enter into control statements very useful topic excellent topic it will give you lot of confidence in my classes did i share materials to you guys make materials did we share materials to you guys books lab book into no, question man no, all right okay okay once uh, finalized all enrolled people you will get all the books my books in taxinius format you will get couple of books c sharp dot net book asp dot net book advo dot net book ajax book into question mac lab book test your c sharp skills doc dot net installation dot net installation document i have shared i hope right Yes, sir. We got that. Okay, 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 guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. And uh, any, 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 any questions? Any, anything you want to talk to me? Any concerns? Yes. Okay. so the like every day we will we'll log in same same our old time like 5:30 uh, 
IST to 6.30 IST, maybe according to your place, you check the time, same our old time only. And the same what I'm planning, if you are interested simultaneously, we can run csharp.net and ASP.net also. This is one hour. After one hour, I'll give you half an hour gap and one and a half hour, one hour, 15 minutes, I'll give you ASP.net also. Is it okay for all? Yes, sir. Okay, you sir. can learn. You can learn in India. We will organize classes yes. like that only. How we will organize in India? I'll tell you in India, my schedule will be like this. Um, 9 a.m. For example, for example, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. C sharp dot net. Okay, so 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. ASP dot net. So 9 a.m. means we'll start 9:15. Okay, 11 a.m. means we we'll leave by. For example, I'm telling you 10:45 a.m. And uh, here 11 means we'll start 11:15 a.m. We'll have half an hour break here. One means not exactly one. Approximately 12:45 p.m. We will leave. This is and means one and half hour. Shishab.net one and half hour. Hello. ASP.net. Ah, once we'll give some clarity about Shishab.net. Couple of programs like up to control statements here and there. We'll start what ASP.net. In between half an hour break will be there in India. At that break time also I'll conduct exam actually. In India, I'll conduct exam in break time. Okay. In 12:45 also, I'll give you exam. Small sleep test, I'll give you 15 minutes sleep test. Every day you will have this. This pattern I'll follow actually there. Okay. So, uh, you people uh, interested? We could, if you will go like this, what will happen? Uh, like this means here our my plan is 5:30 uh, a.m. to 6:30 a.m. My time, I'm telling you, IST, C sharp dot net. C sharp dot net. And 7 a.m. to 8.15 or 8 a.m. enough. IST, ASP, not ASP dot net immediately after a couple of sessions. One hour, one hour simultaneously will go, syllabus will run fast. This is my plan. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Okay. No, no, we can't attend ASP.NET in this session. Means you can attend next session also. Immediately we'll have sessions. Don't worry about that. Okay, now? Okay, sir. If time okay, is not connected, first complete. Somebody will like only, I will attend only C sharp first. I don't have that much array. Let me complete C sharp first, then I'll complete ASP.NET. You have that option also. Don't worry. Right. Better advice is if you have time, attend two simultaneously. Then we'll uh, anyhow our training will go very cool slowly now. Nah. So no way you will have confusion. I'm sure a mad person also can become a .NET developer with my classes. It was proved also. Who are having mentally uh, weak in uh, by default by birth problems will have that type of people who are unable to pass 10th class exam also. I will do a lot of research on my trainings always. I'll call school children and make them to sit in summer holidays. In my class, I will make them to write csharp.net code. I'll make them to write ASP.net code. Like I'll do this different. I'll call housewife who has 20 years gap. She came and she attended classes. All are able to write uh, programming that I have. Generally, it's a challenge for me. I'll, I'll check in all the angles, how the training quality is going on, whether it is reachable to all. Because BTEC student will come to me, will tell to me that I completed BTEC in mechanical, can I learn how to? Okay. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you very much. We'll meet tomorrow, same time. Bye to all.